after praising Almighty Allah and sending salutations upon the seal of all prophets, here are two men who passed away in America a few hours ago. One of them was a singer who died at the age of 96, Harry Blafante, and the other was an Egyptian who died at the age of 37, a Sheikh Abdullah, the son of Kamil. May Allah have mercy on him. The former was a singer and the latter was a reciter. Both Allah had blessed with talent and he had gifted them a beautiful voice. Harry Blafante used his to sing and Sheikh Abdullah used his to recite and both had returned to Allah subhanahu tabaraka wa ta'ala. Sheikh Abdullah only spent less than two months in America to lead people in taraweeh but since Allah called him few hours back hundreds and thousands of people had made dua for him. He had served the book of Allah with his voice. On the other hand Harry Blafonte who had been an activist and had lived in New York for over 90 years singing and entertaining people. We haven't seen even a single person who made dua for Almighty to grant him Jannah or heavens. All what people said, he was a nice person, he was a motivational person, and he was an activist and things to this nature, but never. May Allah have mercy on him. Why? Because when you live to serve the Lord of mankind, you are prayed upon when you return to Allah. But if you have lived just to entertain people and make them happy, the moment you check out, they can only praise you. But the prayer that you are in a dire need of, for you to be mercied, for you to be admitted into Jannah, the paradise of Almighty Allah, for the most part. If not even never, will you even receive that prayer? And also a few hours ago, Jerry Springer, whom the world had known as the former Cincinnati's mayor, who had served from 1977 to 1978 and in early 90s, known as Jerry Springer, has sprang the media that attracted the attention of approximately 13 million people. The show that people used to spend their hours on watching more than that of Oprah Winfrey. He had also passed. What is the dua that he received? The voice, hosting, the talent, the wisdom, and all of the things that people spoke about him. There's no, may Allah have rahmah on him. Because if you've lived your life just to entertain, the entertainment comes to an end once your life ends. But if you lived to serve mankind and to please the Lord of mankind, they will remember you willingly or unwillingly because the one who places that in their hearts is their Lord. So all the singers around the world and all the entertainers around the world, never will you hear their names and people say, Rahimahumullah, may Allah have mercy on them. They will only speak nice about them. That is even if they remember what they've done. Where is James Brown? Like he had never been. Where is Tupac? How many times Rahimahullah? Where is Biggie? How many times Rahimahullah? Where is Rahim Akbar? Like he's even dead. Similarly Fat Joe and the one who used to call himself the son of Tony Montana. Where are they? Never will you hear me Allah have mercy on them. Ask Shabarangs. Is he still the Mr. Lover Man? It's like he's not even on this earth. But whenever you hear Sheikh Abdul Basit, never will you hear it or see his name except Rahimahullah. Sheikh Al Minshawi, Rahimahullah. Sheikh Al Husari, Rahimahullah. Sheikh Muhammad Rifaat, Rahimahullah. Sheikh Muhammad Ayyub, Rahimahullah. Sheikh Abdullah Al Hudayfi, Hafizahullah. Sheikh this or Sheikh that. Either you see may Allah preserve them if they are still alive, or may Allah have mercy on them when they are out. That's the barakah of Quran. So to the youth around the world, those of you whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had blessed with this book, don't trade it for some earthly gain because it's never gonna last. And then trade that Quran with the street life because it's never gonna benefit you. And you may not have the chance of storing nine bullets in you and still survive. You may not live to be the next 50 cents. So check your life and be appreciative of that Quran that Almighty Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala had blessed you with. Sheikh Abdullah Kamil was a role model, so don't be caught thinking that I'm too young. Get your acts together and live that street lives and leave those dope that you've been dealing with and leave the cocaine out there and leave the weed that you've been smoking and all that stuff because there's no benefit in them and return back to reform your own self, reform your own family and reform your own society and contribute to your own communities and uplift yourself and others around you because in the end if you die as a believer 
you will rest in peace. But if you die as a disbeliever, you will rest in pieces. <laughs>